Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and today we will be doing something a little different on the channel. We will be doing a tutorial on how to install GWX Knight's Cross Edition, a mega mod for Silent Hunter 3. This is a mod that is just released as of releasing this video, and it is filled with tons of new changes that I am very excited to share with you. But first, let's showcase how to install it. So, to install GWX Knight's Cross, you first need to make sure you have an installation of Silent Hunter 3 already installed. Now, this can be from the disc or from Steam. Regardless, however you have Silent Hunter 3 installed, just have it installed. This is really to ensure that the correct registry entries and codecs are installed onto your PC. And this should also be installed outside of your program files folder. Whenever you are installing Silent Hunter 3 normally, it goes into your program files folder. You don't really want to do this. Instead, it's probably best to install on a separate drive if you have it. For example, I will be installing it on my G drive. But if you just have a C drive, install it outside of your regular program files folder. Silent Hunter 3 being a 25 year old game is incredibly finicky and with modern operating systems does not like to be in the program files folder. For this example here, you can see I have Silent Hunter 3 installed in my G folder and a separate folder with multiple other installations of Silent Hunter. Next, what you are going to want to do is download GWX Knight's Cross from the link down in the description below. It will also be in the pin post. Whenever you download that, you will have a 7-zip folder here with GWX in it. You are going to copy this from your downloads folder and bring it to whatever drive you have Silent Hunter installed on, and you are going to paste it in that folder, like so. And that will have the zip in this particular folder. You do not want to put this in your stock SH3 install. You want it in a separate folder. Now, what we are going to do is right click this if you have WinRAR, like I do, for example. If you have 7-zip, the process should be very similar. You just extract the contents of this folder to where you want it. In this case, I want to extract it to GWX Knights Cross Alpha and this will make a new folder with GWX Knights Cross in it. I'm using the alpha version of the mod. Chances are your folder will be named something different. So we can see I have extracted GWX Knights Cross. It is in a separate folder from the stock install. This is very important. We are going to open that up. We can open this up and here we can see this is Silent Hunter 3 with the GWX mod. What we want to do is go to the sh3.exe. We are going to right click this and go to properties. The Grey Wolves devs did include the exe in the install as Silent Hunter 3 is a 20 year old game and is essentially abandonware. But we are going to go to properties and we are going to go to compatibility. What we want to do is tick this box here, run this program in compatibility mode, and we want this program to run in Windows 7 compatibility mode. It is important to note that some folks may run into issues running with Windows 7 compatibility mode. If you do happen to run into issues and the game does not launch, then switch to Windows 8 compatibility mode and give that a try. While you are here, it is also important that you tick run this program as an administrator and press apply. Next, there will be another exe for multi sh3 in here. This program allows us to change the folder where our save games will be stored. For folks with multiple Silent Hunter installations, this is an invaluable program. So we are going to open this up. We can currently have it saved to just slash sh3. If you do not have multiple installations of Silent Hunter 3 on your PC, I do, however, so we are going to rename this. It has to be just three letters, unfortunately. So for this, we are just going to name it X, Y, and Z, like so. So my new save games for GWX Knights Cross will be saved to my documents slash XYZ. Save that. And then you are clear to exit out of that folder. Now we want to run Silent Hunter 3 and make sure it works. Just double click on the EXE. Uh, sometimes your antivirus may say it doesn't recognize it. I'm going to run anyway. It is in fact trustworthy and we are in. Here we can see Silent Hunter 3 with GWX has successfully installed 
and uh, yeah, we are in. If you want to check to make sure everything works, you can just go to one of the uh, training missions in the Naval Academy and load these up. I always use these to test as they load up incredibly quickly, uh, which is great. And uh, it's good just to make sure everything works out. That's the crux of the GWX install. This should get you up and running. We do have a few other things that we can test out, but here we are inside our 7B U-boat. And press Shift H real quick to open up the hatches. And yeah, we're looking good. One thing I'd also recommend is go to the options and change the voices language to German. Press apply. It will take a second, but there you go. You know, flip those voices over to German for a more immersive experience. Now, with all of that done, you have GWX Knight's Cross installed. However, if you do have a NVIDIA card, I would recommend doing this next step to make the game look just that much better. What you want to do is use the link down below to install NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It'll take you to a GitHub page and you are going to download this zip file. And we are just going to download that to my downloads. Once there, you are going to uh, take this file and extract it wherever you would like programs like this to be installed. For example, I put it in my G folder. And once extracted, you will have the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe. We are going to open that up. You need to run as an administrator a lot of the time. And here we go. Here is NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Down below, there will be another link taking you to download a knightscross.nip file. And this is a file that is used with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I followed the link and you can see it went to my cloud. We are going to download this file and we are just going to drag it onto our desktop as a nice workstation. Now we have NVIDIA Profile Inspector up. What we want to do is import user defined profiles as this little arrow button to the right. Import profiles and we are going to import that NIP file we just downloaded. Open that up and profile successfully imported. And these are the settings that the GWX devs recommended. If we go to this little house button and click Silent Hunter 3, here we can see all of the settings have indeed been applied and uh, they should be listed pretty much as so here. Once you have that, you just press apply changes and you are golden. Well, folks, that pretty much sums it up for this installation video. As you can see, GWX KC is incredibly easy to install. One of the more streamlined super mods for Silent Hunter 3. If you do happen to have questions about GWX Knight's Cross, feel free to join my Discord where there is a dedicated Subsims channel. I will be happy to help you out there and elaborate on anything I missed in the video. Also, Subsim.com is an amazing resource. Check out the GWX KC thread there, as I'm sure there will be lots of discussion pertaining to installation and other features of the mod. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all have fun with GWX Knight's Cross. Thank you all for watching and happy hunting. Der Feind hat uns in der Ordnung erkannt. Nun ist das endlich vorbei.